Siamese cat versus Himalayan cat. What are the differences between the two cat breeds? These two cat breeds with a sophisticated look have similarities. The Himalayan cat is a Persian and Siamese drag. These two cat breeds are affectionate with family. These kitties love to talk. The Siamese cat is a medium-sized breed with a long, lithe body that is graceful and elegant but still has a muscular feel. The body is well balanced and athletic. The legs slender and the paws small and oval. The head viewed face on resembles a triangle tapering in straight lines to a fine muzzle. Their ears are large and pricked and are set so that they follow the lines of the triangle. The eyes are oriental in shape and slant towards the nose. The tail is long and tapering and free from kinks. The short, fine and close line coat have a pale mane body color is pale with darker intensely colored points. Himalayans have what is known as a cobby body type. This means that despite their round appearance, these kitties are sturdy and strong. They have short, thick legs and tail and a broad chest and shoulders. Aside from those expressive blue eyes, a Himalayan's face is distinct in that it can either be traditional or extreme. Traditional, also called doll face, is round with a longer, lower nose. Extreme, or peak face, is that adorable squashy look similar to that of a pug. Of course, the most noticeable attribute is a Himalayan's fine, glossy double coat with those quintessential color points. When it comes to their personality, Siamese cats are extremely fond of their people. They like to be helpful and will follow you around and supervise your every move. When you are sitting down, a Siamese will be in your lap, and at night he will be in bed with you, probably under the covers with his head on the pillow. Do not get a Siamese if living with a chatty busybody would drive you insane. On the other hand, if you enjoy having someone to talk to throughout the day, the Siamese can be your best friend. Just be sure you have time to spend with this demanding and social cat. Siamese does not like being left alone for long periods, and if you work during the day it can be smart to get two of them so they can keep each other company. Like the Persian, the Himalayan is sweet, docile and quiet. She is an ornament to any home where she can enjoy sitting in a lap, surely her rightful place being petted by those who are discerning enough to recognize her superior qualities, and playing house with kind children who will gently comb her hair, will her around in a baby buggy, let her chase an interactive toy, then serve her tea at their parties. Himalayans are affectionate but discriminating. They reserve their attention for family members and those few guests whom they feel they can trust. Loud environments aren't a Himalayan style, they are sedate cats who prefer a serene home where little changes from day to day. With large, expressive eyes and a voice that has been described as soft, pleasant and musical, Himis let their simple needs be known, regular meals, a little playtime with a catnip mouse or feather teaser, and lots of love, which they return tenfold. These two cat breeds are highly intelligent, agile, athletic, and loves to play. Keep their busy brain active with puzzle toys and their body exercise with teaser toys they can chase and a big cat tree they can climb. Never leave them without any form of entertainment. The differences between their personality are that Siamese cats are a loyal and loving feline who will pout and pine if given little or no attention, while the Himalayans are contented to adorn a chair, sofa or bed until you are free to admire her and give her the attention she willingly receives but never demands. Both pedigreed cats and mixed breed cats have varying incidences of health problems that may be genetic in nature. Some problems that may affect the Siamese are Amyloidosis, a disease that occurs when a type of protein called amyloid is deposited in body organs, primarily the liver in Siamese. Asthma, a bronchial disease. And congenital heart defects such as aortic stenosis. Although Himalayans are beautiful and sweet, exotics are prone to a number of potential health problems such as Breathing difficulty or noisy breathing caused by constricted nostrils. Dental malocclusions, meaning the teeth don't mesh well together. Excessive tearing. Eye conditions such as cherry eye, entropion and progressive retinal atrophy. Feline hyperesthesia syndrome, a nervous system disorder. Heat sensitivity. Polycystic kidney disease, for which a genetic test is available. Predisposition to ringworm, a fungal infection and Seborrhea oleosa, a skin condition that causes itchiness, redness and hair loss. Hello! This video is sponsored by Bmix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. Every cat must obtain 41 different and specific nutrients from their food. The proportion of these nutrients will vary depending on age, lifestyle and overall health, so it's not surprising that a growing, energetic kitten needs a different balance of nutrients in her diet than a less active senior cat. 
Other considerations to bear in mind are feeding the right quantity of food to maintain ideal body condition in accordance with feeding guidelines and catering to individual preference regarding wet or dry food recipes. The short, fine coat of the Siamese is easily cared for with weekly combing to remove dead hair and distribute skin oils. The most important thing to understand about caring for a Himalayan is the need for daily grooming. That long, beautiful coat doesn't stay clean and tangle-free on its own. It must be gently but thoroughly combed every day, and regular bathing at least once a month is a good idea. Another factor to consider is the litter box issue. Litter may become lodged in their paws or coat. If the cat and the litter box aren't kept scrupulously clean, a Himi is more likely than most to just stop using the box. Excessive tearing can be a problem in this breed, so wipe the corners of the eyes clean daily to prevent under-eye stains from forming. Brush their teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. It's a good idea to keep Siamese and Himalayan as an indoor-only cat. They are not a scrapper and would fare poorly against other cats, dogs, coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors. Siamese and Himalayans who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for it. What the Siamese looks like depends on the breed standard of each particular organization. The wedge-shaped head is long and tapering from the narrow point of the nose outward to the tips of the ears, forming a triangle. The unusually large ears are wide at the base, pointed at the tip, giving them the same triangular shape as the head. Medium-sized almond-shaped eyes are always a deep vivid blue. The body is often described as tubular and is supported by long, slim legs, with the hind legs higher than the front legs. The Siamese walks on small, dainty, oval paws and swishes a long, thin tail that tapers to a fine point. A long, thick, shiny coat with a fine texture completes the Himalayan's look. It's long all over the body and includes an immense ruff around the neck, a deep frill between the front legs, long ear, and toe tufts, and a full brush, or tail. It has a large, round head, large, round eyes, a short nose, full cheeks, and small ears with rounded tips. The head is supported by a short, thick neck and a deceptively sturdy, muscular body, a type known as kabi. A Himalayan's legs are short, thick, and strong with large, round, firm paws. The tail is short but proportional to the length of the cat's body. The active and social Siamese is a perfect choice for families with children and cat-friendly dogs. He will play fetch as well as any retriever, learns tricks easily, and loves the attention he receives from children who treat him politely and with respect. Himalayans aren't the best choice for a houseful of boisterous children and dogs, but they have no objection to being the object of a gentle child's attention or to rubbing along with a friendly dog who doesn't chase them or otherwise cause them anxiety. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.